All right, guys, time to cry back again today. Haven't I enjoyed your day so far? And today we're going to talk about a pretty spicy bit of drama between Douglas, Sensor Martin, and Christopher Parasite Duarte that went down over the scouting series that's going on over these couple of days, and yesterday especially. Both these guys were dropped off their team relatively recently. It almost seems to make sense that they can potentially team up through the challenge, deciding to kind of run it back to the FaZe Clan team way back in Advanced Warfare. However, Parasite does not seem so keen, and, well, Sensor comes out and kind of roasts him back after, well, Parasite says some pretty questionable things on stream about their potential playing time together. I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section, but I'd like if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you are new as always. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Thank you very much indeed for doing that. Let's exactly explain real quick what the scouting series is if you guys aren't familiar with it. So effectively, it's a four-day event. Today is going to be day two, continuing over the next four days. And amateur players only, so if you're signed to a pro league team as a substitute or whatever, you're not invited to this. 128 players, 64 in North America, 64 in Europe, and every CDL team gets to draft a new team team so the coaching staff or whoever wants to step up to the plate really from the CDL team side drafts you know four players in effectively a snake format then they play effectively glorified eights versus each other they played a couple of series each like a proper best of five type format and um yeah they just basically play matches and then the coaching staff gets to see okay like how are these guys playing together is this guy potentially a promising target for us to pick up and what would be really nice is at some point we have a proper like combine type thing where right to the end of the tournament after the four day event and there's actually some sort of event going on with some prize money on the line or something and uh, well right at the end the teams have to choose a player or something that they can draft every single day for example that actually gets picked up onto their academy roster or something like that or maybe even that team like becomes part of their academy squad I don't really know but it'd be nice that at some point in the future this actually meant a little bit more than just effectively what is glorified eights but yeah it was pretty entertaining to watch how things all went down yesterday and uh, well as Lando says these were the first round picks in the, in the European side to so Afro Bits, Chain Defrag, Detain, Maple, Dave, Denza, Nasty, Vortex, Wellers and Nvidian and in the North American side which is pretty entertaining is that Empire chose Paul X as their first round pick and Paul X has been the guy that uh, there's been some questions from Crimsix of course on the Dallas Empire these last few days whether this guy is perfectly legitimate but they went through the snake draft they drafted their well four versus four squads and this is kind of how things turned out I thought this is kind of funny as well to mention from Dereal because um well a lot of these I suppose general managers and coaching staff don't know too much about some of the countries that these European players are from what languages they actually speak so as Dereal says a lot of these squads were just getting put together as multi-nation teams and like what language are these guys actually going to speak to each other do they actually know English like it's a bit of a question mark and as Drill says like I think next time they could just ask any of us back in Europe for some suggestions especially if some people just cannot speak the language right so yeah not exactly ideal I think this uh, certainly could have been executed a little bit better but we'll have to see how things develop next year so as I hold shift this is all the names on the teams and this is kind of the results that they had so I'll bring this up on the big screen right here and um you know these are some of the results if you guys want to pause the video check out exactly who was on certain teams and then we'll see exactly what results they did indeed have. But some of the exciting teams, especially in the North American side, was, for example, Optic Chicago. They had Standy, Stamino, Parasite, and Apox, right? And there were certainly some other teams as well, which are pretty solid here. But interestingly, some of the players that were not picked. So in the North American side, Aix was not picked, Brack was not picked, Sensor, Fame, Hate, Huntsman. Not really sure who your Huntsman is. I imagine it's not a Chicago Huntsman. Juju, that's a name you guys might remember from back in Infinite Warfare. Definitely have to do a three minutes in COD history on um, Juju versus Pristini. That's certainly in the works. Kaiser, Profizi, Super, TCM, and Teddy Rex. So these guys weren't picked in the North American side. I can kind of understand it from like Aches and Sensor's perspective. Like if I'm a general manager, if I'm a coach, I know what I'm going to get out of Aches and Sensor. I like a kind of, you know, these guys have had careers for a number of years. I'm probably more excited to see like what, what's the communication like of some of these amateur players. Could they potentially be a long term target? Brack to me is a very interesting one. The fact that he was left out on the sidelines here. Like this guy had such a great come up throughout Black Ops 4. Modern Warfare, of course, never really got his opportunity on the starting team on Toronto, and now he's not even getting picked in the scouting series. Like, um, yeah, pretty remarkable to see what the direction his career has gone over the last couple of seasons, from being arguably the breakout player of Black Ops 4. Like, everyone said he was so good on Midnight, then into Luminosity Gaming as well. But, um, well, anyway, since he's sitting here on the sidelines, Parasite is on Optic Chicago. Thought this was pretty funny as well that uh, Lightning Powder Chaps 2019 points out Optic Parasite. You guys may remember if you guys are proper OG from back in the day, Parasite joined Optic Gaming back in, like, Go 
posts for two weeks. I think it was when Scump left for Envy for like two weeks in January 2014 it would have been. And uh, Parasite joined this team for like a week or so or something like that. And uh, well, it ended up obviously not working out and he went his separate ways. But he was on Optic for a time and now of course he's back on Optic once again. And I thought this is pretty funny as well. I'll just share this clip real quick before we get into the actual Sensor versus a hacky drama. Apparently Sensor had told Parasite a load of strats that Zed and Co were using because uh, well, he Sensor got dropped off Zed's team yesterday and eventually he was telling Haggy like all the stuff they do in the scouting series so um, yeah they could actually get the one up on them just for the scouting <laughs> series match oh, respect I'm primed and ready <laughs> you pull out all the stops bro you're not losing a goddamn map let me all tell right, you guys here hollow was there jerk no, just... yeah 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 i got them all Doug gave me all of Zed and Zed strats because you know hey. they dropped them hey respect yeah Doug says yo beat this guy dude <laughs> can't can't let him win after he did the, after he did me like that so just as we were talking about with Bracken Co not getting drafted, as he says right here, gotta trust the process. Since it comes back with like same bro, like, you know, what am I gonna do? Why are these guys not drafting me in the scouting series? Like I'm one of the best players in the amateur sides. And uh, well, as it continues on right here. So Sensor has dropped off his team yesterday. Zed, Denz, and Gujar had to go their separate ways, and Sensor wasn't too happy about it, as we talked about yesterday. Parasite as well effectively was dropped off his squad of uh, Blast, Decimate, and Neptune, because um, well, he effectively decided he wasn't gonna play with Blast anymore and effectively said, look, if you guys want to play with uh, with Decimated Neptune, feel free to do so. I will go my separate ways. And Parasite got a new team with Noisy, uh, Daft Paddy, I think, and Saints Nato. So yeah, they decided to play it in the challenger side. And Saints is in an interesting position where it's like, okay, exactly who are we going to play with here? Like, what are my next steps going to be? And teaming with Parasite may have made a lot of sense, right? These guys teamed together back in the day, as you can see right here on the Face Clan team in the latter half of Ghost into Advanced Warfare. UMG Nashville actually won together. Center, Apathy, Parasite, and Karma. What a squad that was. And yeah, they teamed together for a while. Actually, it was the end of Ghost. It wasn't into Advanced Warfare. So apologies for that mistake that I made at the start of the video. But this really is well. They did play together back in the day. And as you can see right here, I imagine this is when they won that event with a dug in sleeveless jersey. You know the drill. So Parasite comes back with this gift saying like, yeah, what is going on? Why do you want to team with me? There's no way that I want to team with you. Like, yeah, what's going on here? And Sensor's like, okay, please can we team together? And Parasite is not particularly happy about it. And I kind of saw this and thought he was kind of joking. Maybe they would team back together. Definitely, it certainly makes sense. But but certainly Parasite is not so keen. I'll share a couple of clips here. This first one, well, both of these are going to be from Doug's stream, but you can hear what Parasite has to say in the background. Effectively saying like, look, if we were drafted onto the same scouting series team, I wouldn't even bother trying. You're not even worth my time. Uh, you know, this type of stuff. And Senzo clearly, well, doesn't exactly take it the best possible way, but understandably so. These weren't remarks that necessarily needed to be said. Draft team no. tomorrow. <laughs> um, I, told, I already said I wouldn't play. Can you imagine Wait, and Sensor both get drafted? I swear to God, I will face. not play. Jesus. Like, oh, wow. Hey, wow. Is, hey, because hey, because, it, it, because they would do it to me, and I'm just not like, that's not like me. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to prove myself as a player. I'm not trying to have fun. Hey, you can do that with other people. I, it's I not my choice, though. I'm saying if we're on the same draft team, would you give you know me 100% effort? Yeah, of course. But, like, I'm not playing. <laughs> Hypothetically, like, I would give you it, but I wouldn't because I'm not playing. <laughs> That's just. I think I'd, I'd, I'd probably get up. sick and like get off. That's just um. What? I'm trying to find the words. That's tragic. I'm joining over and over. I'm a, co I'm a coward. I know. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Shut up. I'm yeah. in here, bro. Oh my god. I'm You're a coward. Right. You're not a friend of mine. I hope. <laughs> After, not only did I bless this guy to pick him up on FaZe Clan, because I didn't have to do that. I could have picked up anybody I wanted. I picked up Haggy because I thought he was good. Then I won an event with him. Then I beat him multiple times. And then he, like, refuses to even, like, want to try if we get drafted together. It just, like, it doesn't make sense to me, honestly. But then he wants to make his teams for these tournaments. And I, I don't think his team was bad. Like, I'm not trying to discredit his team. I think Noisy, Dave Patty, and Saints are really good players that I would play with. But he makes his teams and just, like, he's placing top 32. He's placing top 32, losing to drama. Like, look, if I'm, I place top 32, but I lost to Wester, who's the best team in the game, who have not lost anything yet. You know, like, 
He's placed in top 32, losing the drama's pickup teams. Like, yeah, it's certainly interesting for me to hear that, like, Tenta gets dropped off his team. He's looking for options around the park. And Parasite, who he played with and won championships with way back in the day at Nashville 2014, has absolutely no patience that Doug actually could be a good option. They're effectively saying that, like, look, if we were playing together, I wouldn't even bother trying because it wouldn't be worth my time, which is, um, well, pretty, well, pretty devastating words, all things considered. So, yeah, certainly intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Could these guys team up? Where could Century even potentially go next, given that Zed Dens and Gunja seem like a good opportunity. I'm sure we'll get some other players um, over time, but a lot of teams are kind of set in stone now. He's probably waiting for some Roster Mania stuff, which is going to be difficult to find given the Challengers Cup. The next one is in like mid-January sometime. So yeah, certainly some questions to be asked on centre side right now. And Parasite, oh, well, a bit of friction here certainly between these two gentlemen. Just to finish off the video with a couple of entertaining things, this actually came out from the scouting series a couple of days ago. So this guy, Toki, put in, um, I think this was the chat for the scouting series or something like that, or some of the amateur stuff that was going on. And so, uh, well, Toki 1-0 said it because Toki, whoever this guy is, I'm not exactly sure if he was a player, maybe in the European side or one of the moderators, but he put an image of Yannick Garcia, of course, in the chat. And then Sensor comes on and says, look, what, what the hell is this type of unprofessional stuff? Who's in charge here? I got GB admins not counting my team's pro points. I'm posting photos of my ex in a public scouting series Discord. What is going on? Who's in charge here? And so, uh, well, Sensor was coming for blood. There's no doubt about that. And so, uh, well, just a couple of unbelievable clips to finish off the video. This first one from Siggy Mabel, of course, over in the European region misses that shot but it's an absolutely disgusting one to finish off the ace here in the scouting series definitely one of the deadliest snipers outside of the league in my opinion i mean just an absolutely disgusting clip right here and just to finish off with this as well i thought this is one of method's uh, best skits about the cdl coaching draft day yeah pretending to talk to all the coaches exactly who they are picking up and doing well having a bit of a giggle and joey nubsy and the seattle surgeon's expense very much intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it i'd greatly appreciate a like on the video it really helps out the youtube algorithm know you enjoy this content other people like you may enjoy this concert as well and i'll grow the competitive call of duty community thank you for watching as always take care and i will see you next time yeah one slid got a clap oh my god I mean, give me the ace give me the ace Degrade their last oh. oh get it up Don't record it how do i do it oh f10 oh it's f10 yeah who'd you get you got ball eggs? it's a good pick man he's been slinging him around what about you mark Frosty? Kid's got a good shot, man. That's a good pick. Easy, Mac. Who'd you get? Crowder? That's no shock there. How about you, Cap? Oh, really? All right. I mean, all right. How about you, Nubsy? Pander? Brodo? Worked so well the first time. Had to do it again? All right. What's going on?